Welcome to this 10 minute full body stretch. We're gonna focus on the hips this chance. So for starters, we're gonna get deep into a squat, as deep as you can get. We're just gonna relax here, breathe and let ourselves accommodate into this position. Try not to lift your heels, but if you do, it's all good. To get deeper into the stretch, try to point from the low part of your pelvis, tense your core, bring your butt forward. I like to swing around and point my toes up, this way I just can move and feel around my joints and just all around my hip, trying to find an uncomfortable spot. Once I feel good, I will place my right hand on the floor and with the back of my right hand, and my right arm or the back of my shoulder, I will press my right leg while pressing the other leg, the left leg, the left knee with my left hand. I will spend a minute on each of these exercises. You can let go and then try to get in after having a long breath. Inside, let go and exhale, keep pressing to the side. You're activating the floor of your pelvis constantly. Now we're gonna switch sides. So the same thing, we're pushing the right knee with our right arm and we are rejecting the left knee with our left arm or shoulder. I like to let my head hang for a couple seconds or move it around just to find uncomfortable places on my shoulder or my spine. Sometimes when I'm in this uncomfortable or awkward positions, I move other parts of my body that are not the focus of the stretch just to find a place where I could feel discomfort and then try to ease into it. Okay, so once we are finished with our deep squats, we're gonna go ahead and try to bring our knees to the center of the ground. So you can use your hands to help yourself, support yourself a little bit, but try to do it without your hands. So your knees are gonna rotate inwards. Try not to move your chest too much to the side, but it does make it easier to rotate your chest to the side that of the knee that stays up. So that could be a, a nice variation for you if you are not getting all the way to the ground. You're gonna feel this in the inside of your hips, your adductors. Now we're done, we're gonna put our arms behind our legs and while keeping our arms behind our legs, we're gonna try to bring ourselves up. Exhale and inhale, go down again. And we're gonna repeat this process. Every time you go up, try to keep your stomach as close to your hamstrings as possible. This might not be the case for you, and you will have to separate your chest from your thighs. That is okay. Just try to stand to start with your hands behind your legs. And then as you go up, they can leave the part, the behind part of your legs and they can come forward. When you go down, you place them behind your legs again. I'm gonna do a couple repetitions here. Just going from a deep squat 
to a forward fold. So now when we are done, we're gonna go laying on our backs. Now it's time to open the outside of the hips. We're gonna place the right foot on the left knee. Now we're gonna push forward onto the knee, onto the right knee, trying to open the inside of the hip and getting ready for the next part of this exercise where we're gonna thread the arm through inside of our leg, grabbing the left knee and bringing both legs to our chest. This is gonna feel really good on the back of your hips and your glutes, opening up the lower back, the back of your hamstrings. Remember to breathe, try to push your lower back to the ground. Now we're gonna get down and we're gonna change legs. So we start again with the left foot on the right knee and we push that left knee forward. Opening up the left hip a little bit more. And then we're gonna thread the arms through the inside of the triangle made by, the, by that left leg. And then we're gonna grab the right knee with both hands and bring it forward. You can point up with your toes. That way you know you're activating your legs, not just being loose in this stretch. Usually stretches, they require your muscles, the muscles that you're stretching to be activated. That way you can elongate the muscle. So we're done. We're done with our hip openings laying on the ground. We're gonna go up and then we're gonna go into a Cossack squat. For this, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna go into a white stance with your feet pointing outwards. First, we're gonna swing side to side, letting our toes go up as we move. This way we can grease up the knees, the ankles and the hips preparing ourselves to lower down a little bit more with each time we are swinging from side to side. So we're doing, we're going to do this for about 30 seconds, just greasing up, trying to go a little bit deeper into each repetition. Once we're done, we're gonna try to go all the way to the right, letting our butt or the back of our hamstring and our calf touch. We're gonna do the same thing both sides. You can lift the toe of the leg that's straight to make it a little bit easier. And you can also extend the arms and let the chest go forward. That way you can go a little bit deeper we're going to do about three to four repetitions per each side. Try to go as low as, as you can and hold on the low part for a couple, well, a good four or five seconds. You can also place your hands on the floor as resistance. Then we're gonna go deep into a horse stance. So we stay with our foot planted and then we lower the hip, making a square or the top of part of square with our calves and hamstrings. We can make a triangle in front of us. We're gonna hold here for one minute. You can rest for 10 seconds here and then we're gonna do the last 20 seconds together. So one, two, three, let's go. Go as deep as you can and hold it. Breathe into your legs. You're doing so good. This is really good for your pubic muscles, the low part of your spine. 
you can walk heel toe heel toe all the way to standing and we are done with our stretch feel free to subscribe if you like more videos that like this leave a like and comment which was the best exercise for you i hope your body is feeling as good as mine when you finished this exercise